Hi, I'm Jens Anderson, the creative director on DC Universe Online. We always say that the next legend is you. Well, how are you going to go about doing that? Well, first you have to pick an origin. In this case, we're going to talk about the tech origin. Tech characters in DC Universe Online are basically characters that rely on technology in some way. It either has granted them their powers or they actually need it to you know, perform what they do. Tech characters in DC Universe Online will be able to choose between two mentors, Joker or Batman. So as a villain character and your mentor being Joker, you're going to be going on a journey which is basically to start a gang war in Gotham City. And what's the purpose of this? It's to create confusion so that Joker's long-term plans can come into effect. So the first episode starts out with Joker sending you after the Falcone's operation. He's actually trying to sow some chaos, right, between the police department, destabilize everything in the city. So what happens here? Well, you go through the city, terrorizing the cops, you pop into this warehouse and Huntress has actually shown up on the scene already and she's trying to lock down um, the weapon shipments for the police. So as a villain, um, you're actually going in there and trying to stop her from doing that. On the hero side, with your mentor being Batman, you're trying to create order in the city and stamp out all of the bad things that are going on as a result of the exobite mania that's happened uh, since Brainiac showed up. In episode one, you're going up against one of the coolest villains of all time, the Scarecrow, trying to get him back in his cell. So he's basically unleashed fear gas all over the city. It's creating all this like people hallucinating and seeing things. You have to help craft an antidote, deliver it to the people that are affected by the fear gas in the area, and eventually go down into the sewers of Gotham and take on Scarecrow himself. He's basically going to be dosing you with all these different kinds of fear gas, causing all these phobias to come up in your mind, and you're seeing them play out in front of you. And once you defeat them all, you can actually take him down yourself and uh, put him back into Arkham Asylum. So these are just some of the things that you're going to get to do, some of the stories and the characters that you're going to be involved with as you go through the tech storylines with your mentor as Joker or Batman. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to try and sow chaos or order in DC Universe Online as you become the next legend. Sony.